As much as we are concerned, a good smartphone display is usually defined by the panel it uses, the resolution and refresh rate it pushes. However, not every smartphone display tells you about how much it cares for your eyes. And oh, I'm actually not holding a book right now, but it is a box that contains the world's first smartphone with a matte display, and it is called the TCL 40 Next Paper. So this phone is available in 4G and 5G variants. So I've got the 4G model right here, which looks incredibly beautiful. And it has this really nice matte display here, which I thought I would initially hate, but turns out after two weeks of using it, I am really enjoying this phone. And not to forget to mention, this phone also comes with a stylus just like this, and it looks pretty much like the normal stylus. So here's what's cool about the TCL 40 Next Paper 4G. Before we get into details, I just want to take a moment to appreciate this really cool and exclusive book style media box we received from TCL. Now, of course, you get the phone inside the box as you have seen me unboxing just now, a USB-C cable on the other side, the T-Pen stylus and SIM ejector, and there's no manuals and charger included in this box as you can see right here. But rest assured, when you get the final retail unit, you will definitely get the 33 watt fast charger inside the box and some manuals as well. The TCL 40 Next Paper comes in 4G and 5G models. And the 4G model that I have here has a really premium build with a sleek body profile, a frosted silver bag that doesn't attract fingerprints, and chamfer edges on the camera bump. In fact, the TCL 40 Next Paper 4G is the more superior phone within the series if you look into the specs. Though the processor that powers it is merely a mid-range MediaTek Helio G88. It has 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of expandable storage a 6.78-inch Full HD Plus IPS display with 890Hz refresh rate, 5000mAh battery that supports 33W fast charging, which is overall pretty decent and not some crappy specs that the company used to offer on its phones. Now, let's talk a little more about the matte display. The thing about most glossy smartphone displays is that they are usually very reflective when you view outdoors. While they do make watching videos more enjoyable compared to matte screens, it still admits a strong light glare that can make you feel uncomfortable if you're viewing in low light. Let's not forget to mention that glossy displays can eventually get smudges and fingerprints. You can of course apply a matte screen protector, but that could affect the viewing experience with bad color shifts. The next paper display, as TCL stylizes it, already features a matte glass surface and just like its name, the surface is supposed to feel like a paper so that you can use the T-Pen to scribble on. But to be honest, the matte surface still feels really smooth to the touch. I mean, it feels weird to say that, but this matte surface honestly feels so much better than a matte screen protector and it repels fingerprints extremely well. I'm also quite surprised on how readable it is under strong sunlight. TCL's Next Vision display engine is also working behind the scenes to offer a nice vivid color reproduction and because it doesn't produce as much glare as a glossy display, watching movies and reading articles on it for long durations is a great experience. Also, there's a dedicated Next Paper mode which can turn the display into a color or monochrome e-paper display, which I think is really cool and saves you the trouble of getting a dedicated e-reader with a choppy refresh rate. Finally, let's get back to talking about it being a smartphone. The TCL 40 Next Paper 4G runs Android 13 out of the box with TCL Skin. It comes with several pre-installed apps and games that can fortunately be removed if you don't use them. The software experience is pretty smooth and there's just a slight lag at times that doesn't really bother me. The T-Pen stylus that TCL included is a passive stylus that unfortunately doesn't support palm rejection. The phone's preloaded JNote app also requires a subscription, but fortunately you can use the stylus on other note-taking apps such as Microsoft OneNote. Now, I've seen a lot of crap camera setups this year, and this is where I have to give credit to TCL. Because for a mid-range phone, at least they care to give a 5-megapixel ultra-wide camera to complement the 50-megapixel main camera. While most of its competitors will usually stock a useless 2-megapixel macro or dev camera. As far as things goes, the phone's main camera takes decent shots for a mid-range phone even in low light. But more impressively, the main camera is also capable of taking macro shots with a 4cm distance at a 12 megapixel resolution. Which makes you wonder why other manufacturers would want to include a 2 megapixel macro lens. The ultrawide camera is also pretty usable for casual landscape shots and group photos. 
As for the front camera, I dare say it is the most impressive 32 megapixel camera I have ever seen on a mid-range phone and probably even better than some expensive flagship phones when it comes to details and color saturation. The TCL 40 Next Paper 4G has no problem lasting me two days of moderate usage with a six hour screen on time. Though I wasn't able to try it out its 33 watt fast charging because it wasn't provided inside the box and it only supports 10 watts charging output when using a USB PD charger. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the TCL 40 Next Paper 4G and it is pretty refreshing to see a company doing things a little differently from the rest. The matte display on this phone is seriously something to consider if you have eye health issues with your current smartphone's display. And I can assure you that this is the most comfortable smartphone display that you can experience without paying a premium. At this time of shooting, I do not have any pricing details just yet, but I do expect TCL to have this price well below 800 ringgit, judging from the spec sheet. So yeah, that's all for my review on the TCL 40 Next Paper 4G. Let me know what are your thoughts in the comments down below. Would you like a smartphone with a matte display? Let me know all about it in the comments down below. And for now, thanks for watching and do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in the next one.